Hello, and welcome to Solitary Survivors. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Doesn't Chris Eden Green do something like this? Yeah, but on the contraire. The thing is, while he's in the US, he's only going to be covering a certain amount of steam locomotives. And so, I thought that I would take it into my own hands to cover some of the more obscure ones that most likely he wouldn't have the time to cover. And so, we're going to be getting our first one with the only surviving Denver and Rio Grande standard gauge steam locomotive left. The Colorado Railroad Museum is known for having quite the plethora of American narrow gauge steam locomotives, especially from the Denver and Rio Grande. But what about this? Say hello to 683. Originally built in September of 1890 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works as 583, this locomotive is quite an interesting sole survivor among the many Denver and Rio Grande steam locomotives. Although she's mostly been forgotten due to the vast array of 280s that are already running currently, the way she got preserved is no short but a miracle. Her last days in service were at the San Luis Valley Southern Railway Company, numbered as 106. You might notice in this picture she's missing her original cow catcher. This is because in the 30s it was cut up and replaced with a switching pilot. Although currently she is displayed with a replica of her original cow catcher. But the story obviously doesn't end there. 683's last year of revenue service would come in 1957, when the railroad was suffering from financial troubles at the time. But with this came new management, and so they started making diesel locomotives using the frames of tenders. With this in mind, they of course started retiring all their C-28s, and very quickly only one remained. And one person was going to make sure that that would stay that way. Robert W. Richardson, the founder of the Colorado Railroad Museum. He knew his facts about this locomotive, even down to the fact that the Durango and Silverton had the original tender for the locomotive. So he made a deal, and thus the locomotive was trucked to the Colorado Railroad Museum in 1962 where for the next couple of years they would work on restoring her cosmetically to her original as-built 1890s appearance. And in 2000, the 683 would be reunited with her original tender thanks to the Durango and Silverton, along with another cosmetic restoration. While most people would overlook 683 as being just another consolidation preserved, the backstory behind this one is beyond that of any other 280. Aside from the Lake Superior and Ishpeming ones, of course, though. But honestly, it's very easy to overlook this locomotive as another simple steam locomotive. But, looks are deceiving. Although sadly, since this locomotive hasn't ran in a good 70 years, it's most likely it'll never run again. And it's not a case of one of those restorations that would cost a little bit too much. It's a case of the fact that it's in the narrow gauge capital of America. And the closest we've gotten to something of this size on standard gauge trackage running here is not from here. But even if she doesn't run, she is still quite the sight to behold, and quite the solitary survivor. Thanks for watching, and consider hitting that subscribe button. Although, if you don't enjoy the videos, then you don't have to. It's your life, and I'm not one to control that. And I want to give a massive thank you to the Colorado Railroad Museum for making this video possible. They were incredibly helpful for getting helpful insight on the history of this locomotive, especially since there was barely any online. So thanks for being here, and we'll see you next time.